Now, before I get into the men's championship game tonight, I want to touch on a major move in college basketball where John Calipari is finalizing a deal to leave Kentucky after 15 years and head to Arkansas. Calipari is set to replace Eric Musselman, who left to take the USC job last week. University of Southern California, that is. Coach Cal would be leaving Kentucky after leading the Wildcats to four Final Fours in his first six seasons and a national title in 2012. He went to the Elite Eight in 2017 and 2019, but only has one tournament victory since. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a personal thing for me because I've known John Calipari since the mid-90s. I worked at the Philadelphia Inquirer. One of my first jobs was covering Temple University basketball led by the late, great John Cheney, God rest his soul. And... John Calipari was coaching at UMass when he had Lou Rowe and Marcus Camby and Mike Williams and those brothers. John Calipari is a coach that I have the utmost respect for. His resume is pretty damn great. He took UMass to a Final Four. He took Memphis, led by Derrick Rose, to a national championship game. And if it wasn't for Mario Chalmers hitting a three and tying the game, sending it in overtime before Memphis ran out of gas, he might have won a national championship in Memphis. And then from there, he went to the University of Kentucky when in 2012, led by Anthony Davis, he won a national title. Here's the reality, though. John Calipari has been a head coach in the NCAA Division I men's basketball for 32 years. He's got one title. Once in 32 years. Now, I understand it's hard to get two, it's hard to get three, it's hard to get four, stuff like that, like the Mike Krzyzewskis, the Roy Williams, the Bill Selfs of the world, people like that. But one? Eh. When you have been at this program for 15 years, and the vast majority of those times, you've had the number one or the number two recruiting class, and you ain't been to a Final Four in nine years. You haven't won a national championship in 12 years. And players that you had that you didn't win a national championship with, DeMarcus Cousins, John Wall, uh, uh, you know, Shea Gilgis Alexander, Bam out of bio, the list goes on and on, Jamal Murray. So many great names coming through your programs and you don't have the national title to show for it, that's not great. But that's not the be-all, end-all, because in a Cinderella kind of atmosphere, like is the NCAA in March Madness, anything can happen, we get that. But over the last four years, you missed the NCAA tournament, you got bounced out in the first round twice, and you got to the second round once, and you lost there, and you failed to get to a Sweet 16 in any of those years. You've got the top recruiting class in the nation. That can't happen. You're doing it at the University of Kentucky. It cannot happen. It cannot happen. And that's what has happened to John Calipari. And so what do I think of all of this? I think he's running away from Kentucky. People might disagree with that. I don't give a damn. He's running away from Kentucky because Kentucky is looking at you and they're saying, damn, you've had enough time. Maybe it's time to move on from you. We can get anybody to pay half the price of that $18.5 million we're giving you, the $33 million buyout. We can get somebody for less than that that can have us home in the second round or the first round of the NCAA tournament. And then he goes down to Arkansas where his buddy, whose billionaire buddy, who's the CEO of Tyson Foods, is an alumni member. And you got that NIL money that comes into the coffers. And on top of all of that, you don't have the pressure at Arkansas that you once had at Kentucky. Or you've had at Kentucky all of these years, who's considered a blue blood program. But I got news for you. Eric Musselman didn't do a bad job. This year at 16 and 17, he didn't make the NCAA tournament. But his first four years on the job, he was in the Elite Eight at least twice and then Sweet 16 about three times. He's done a damn good job with that program before he's now departed for USC. So I got news for you. You're going to have some pressure there. I just thought that John Calipari would be at Kentucky until he retired. That isn't the case. I wish him nothing but the best. I know he's an elite recruiter. I know he's an elite developer of talent. But you got to close the deal. Maybe not with national championships, but at least with Final Four appearances. We haven't been seeing that from John Calipari. And Kentucky knew it, and they were ready to move on. And we can't blame them. Even though they weren't going to push him out the door because they didn't want to give him the $33 million, clearly he felt unwanted there and was more wanted at Arkansas. Good luck to him, wishing him nothing but the best. But you got to do more. You got to do more and get back to that John Calipari we knew and loved as an elite coach in the game of basketball. You're not there right now.